Yes, yes, yes. I don't know about y'all, but I've been having church. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad we have one church. Yes. Worship in the Lord. Yes. yes. yes.
Church, I'm asking that you pray for me because God bless you. Mm -hmm. I'm being obedient. Mm -hmm. Take your time. It would have been easy for me not to sing and mm -hmm. just work on just concentrating on, on the message. Mm -hmm. But God gave me the songs mm -hmm. and the message. Amen. 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 That's a lot on the voice. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. pray me through to the end. Amen. 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 First of all, I want to thank Pastor Crawford and the church for this opportunity Amen. to speak today. Amen. Again, I know it's short notice, some things happen. And I don't mind, I don't mind being the ram in the bush. <laughs> Come on. Just a willing vessel. Amen. 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 But don't shoot the message. Come on. Now. <laughs> the thing is compromise. Mm -hmm. Come on. Now. That's a very loaded thing. Come on. Now. One dictionary says that a compromise is an agreement made between two people or groups in which each side gives up some of the things that they want so that both sides are happy at the end. Mm -hmm. All right. Another dictionary, by the way, I made sure to get a simple dictionary. <laughs> some of them use a lot of big words. I want everybody to understand what compromise is today. Another dictionary says it's an agreement that is achieved after everyone involved accepts less than what they wanted at first, mm -hmm. or the act of making disagreement. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to set the stage to say, first of all, compromise is not a bad word in and of itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. A good compromise, for example, is when you want to go out for dinner, but the other person doesn't feel like going out or cooking, so you'll order in from your favorite place. Amen. Well, that's a good Amen. compromise. And with our horizontal relationships, Without fellow man, compromise is helpful and necessary as long as it does not compromise our morals, our values, and God's words from which those morals and values come from. Amen. 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 Our scripture for today, the focus is Matthew 7, verses 13 to 14. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, mm -hmm. yeah. for wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Yeah. And many there be which go in thereat. Mm -hmm. Because straight is the gate. Yeah. And narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Mm -hmm. And few there be. Few there be. Few there be, few there be mm -hmm. okay. that find it. Mm -hmm. For the context of this message and the time that we have together, you're going to hear me refer to that straight gate and narrow way as the line. Okay, that line that we need to stay on. Same thing. And we're going to talk today about the dangers of spiritual compromise. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, this is your moment. These are your people. Yes. Lord, for some reason, you have given me this opportunity to share this word Relationships, you know, mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. However, 
It does not apply when it comes to Almighty God. Come on now. In fact, if you think about it, even there are some, I can't say all of them because some of them are starting to compromise too, but there are employers that expect you to follow their dress codes, their handbooks mm -hmm. if you're working their job, mm -hmm. right? Right. You can't just come in there any kind of way. Yes. You may not be able to just dress in whatever you want to dress in, yes. right? You are expected to carry yourself in a lot of places professionally. Yeah. Right? There's certain language you don't use mm -hmm. on the job. That's right. That's right. And if you don't follow the rules, you might find yourself at home. Well at best. Come on now. And without a job or possibly in jail at worst, depending on what rule you broke. Come on now. And why is it that as Christians we feel like we can get away with all those things mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we as humans expect compliance to laws, rules, and guidelines, then why would we think a holy God would not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, in this day and time, yeah. mm -hmm. many professed Christians are beginning to put the laws and guidelines of God mm -hmm. on the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. They no longer see a need for change. Mm -hmm. Or repentance, mm -hmm. yet they still expect to go to heaven when Jesus comes. Come on now. We want to experience all of the blessings of God without yeah. obedience to God. Yeah. Can you imagine being a disobedient, rebellious child mm -hmm. living in God's heavenly house? Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This came to me. The last time that happened, that child. Lucifer, Come on now. Known as the devil. Got yeah, kicked out. Okay. Yeah. Right. He was a bad influence on some of the other angels yeah, right. that looked up to him and listened to him. Uh, okay. They got kicked out too. Kicked out. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Burger King. We can't just have it our way. Yeah. Right now, it's the hour of our job. Now, we make that our children do whatever they want to do, but God is not one of them. There are some things that just cannot be compromised. Okay. Amen. There are some things that would be downright dangerous if they were compromised. Amen. Yes. So let's talk about what you get if 99% were good enough. Mm -hmm. How about no phone service for 15 minutes every day? Come on now. Yeah, I know some of y'all be calling the command. The command <laughs> <laughs> to fix this problem. 15 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. How about unsafe drinking water three days a year? Mm -hmm. 1.7 million pieces of first class mail lost each day. Exactly. Wow. Your bill not get paid. Mm -hmm. 200,000 people getting the wrong drug prescription. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That sounds like something we can deal with. Yeah. 2 million people would die from food poisoning every year. Mm -hmm. 35,000 <coughs> newborn babies would be dropped by doctors and nurses mm -hmm. each year. Mm -hmm. That's given. 99% was good enough. Mm -hmm. Even though this list sounds crazy, I hope you can see that compromise is really no laughing matter. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And that's what you get if 99% was good enough. <coughs> when I think back, we used to sing songs like 99 and a half, uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. and fully committed. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all noticed, but now more and more I'm hearing Christian songs about how all we do is mess up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all heard those songs before, but I'm hearing them a lot. Mm -hmm. And so we sing on Sorry Light, and then we go back and do it again. That's what the song is talking about. Mm -hmm. The problem I have with these new songs is that the emphasis is on messing up over and over uh -huh. again. Mm -hmm. Saying I'm sorry, taking God's mercy and love for mm -hmm. granted. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. If we're not really repenting mm -hmm. and changing. These songs actually deny the power of God to truly change lives and hearts. Okay. Mm -hmm. It speaks against even the possibility mm -hmm. of living an authentic Christian life. Mm -hmm. It glorifies the love of the world over a desire to live a life that is pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. And this is completely in opposition of the word of God. Mm -hmm. It makes me, I, growing up, I, I used to hate to hear the, the uh, sermons on Revelation because they were so scary, right? <laughs> yeah, reading to be scared of. <laughs> but my mind and Lord took me to Revelation.
Revelation chapter 3, mm -hmm. when the Bible talks about the last day church of way of the sea. Mm -hmm. right? You remember those words? Mm -hmm. I want you to listen to them mm -hmm. in reference to what we see going on in the world today. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to Revelation chapter 3, mm -hmm. verses 14 to 22, and think about how much we are the church of way of the sea. Yeah. And unto the angel of the church of Laodicea is right. These things said the Amen, the faithful and true witness, mm -hmm. the beginning of the creation of God. Mm -hmm. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Mm -hmm. I would that thou were cold or hot. Yeah. So then because thou art lukewarm mm -hmm. and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Yeah. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. Mm -hmm. And knowest not thou that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Mm -hmm. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, yeah. that thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Mm -hmm. And anoint thine eyes with I say that thou mayest see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As many as I love, I rebuke and chase. Be zealous, therefore, mm -hmm. and repent. Y'all yeah. know being zealous is different. That's that's not the same as being lukewarm. Mm -hmm. That's not being that's not being cold. Come be zealous, right. you're hot. He's mm -hmm. asking us to be hot Amen. for him. Right. Behold, I stand at the door mm -hmm. and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Yes. To him that overcometh, yes. will I grant to sit with me yes. in my throne, yes. even as I also overcame. Yes. And y'all heard that? Even as I, even as mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. also overcame. Yes. You know, people like to say, well, me, Jesus, or Jesus, uh -uh. he said, even as I also overcame. He's yes. expecting us to do the same. Okay. Right. And I'm set down right. with my father in his throne. Mm -hmm. He that has an ear, yes. let him hear yes. what the Spirit says mm -hmm. unto the church. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever I heard this, I always wondered why being cold was better than being lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, lukewarm is at least like on the way you think, right? Because it's like oh, the milk. Mm -hmm. Compromise. Why would being cold be better than being lukewarm mm -hmm. in milk? Yeah. And it's because. It seems like it's on the way, but it's actually the most dangerous state to be in. Mm -hmm. Being cold or hot is best. Mm -hmm. Because when you look warm, you straddle the fence. Yes. You don't feel like you need to make a change. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You got one foot in the church mm -hmm. and one foot in the world. Yeah. So you can leave just fine the way you are. Mm -hmm. okay. right. And being lukewarm makes it very easy to fool ourselves. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's a very dangerous state to be in. Amen. But if we become lukewarm by way of compromise, yeah. what's the point? Mm -hmm. What is our function? What is our purpose? And if the church becomes lukewarm mm -hmm. by way of compromise, mm -hmm. what's the point of the church? Okay. Yeah. What's the function of the church? Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of the church? Mm -hmm. If we're just going to be lukewarm. That's right. yeah. mm -hmm. Certainly, it's not going to be effective. It's not going to be distinct, mm -hmm. and it's not going to be memorable. All right, now it's not memorable. That's right. We are living in a time now where people truly believe that they can do anything, mm -hmm. go anywhere, yeah. talk any kind of way, mm -hmm. wear whatever they want to wear, and still mm -hmm. end up in it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If that's the case, mm -hmm. then what is the difference between a Christian lifestyle mm -hmm. and a non-Christian okay. lifestyle? Mm -hmm. yeah. What would make someone even want to be a Christian? If it's gonna look the exact same as the word. Mm -hmm. right now. Besides mentioning God's name every now and then. Uh -huh. yeah. According to 1 Peter 2 9, it says we're supposed to be a peculiar mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Meaning Christians are different. Mm -hmm. 1 Peter 2 9 says that, but ye are a chosen generation, Amen. a royal mm -hmm. priesthood, mm -hmm. and holy nation, mm -hmm. a peculiar people, mm -hmm. that you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness mm -hmm. into his marvelous light. But nowadays, we don't want to stand out. <laughs> okay. We want to blend in. Mm -hmm. Look more. Mm -hmm. But if we blend in with the world, then what's the point of the church? Mm -hmm. We cannot outdo the world with worldliness. Come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to come to the 
churches and go to the churches and look and act like the world. Okay. Yeah. Food for thought. If the world is getting further and further from God, mm -hmm. then why are we not standing out mm -hmm. more and more mm -hmm. peculiar? Okay. Come on now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead, we are in a race toward what will be our next compromise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Malachi 3 6 says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Mm -hmm. And Hebrews 13 8 and 9 says, It lets us know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. and forever. Mm -hmm. And it goes on to say, Do not be carried away mm -hmm. by all kinds of strange mm -hmm. teachings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here's an assessment time for you. Y'all know I will teach you, you know, at mm -hmm. <laughs> How much has your spiritual beliefs changed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over the past few years. Mm -hmm. How much has your spiritual beliefs changed? Mm -hmm. yeah. I just want to let you know, side note, but it goes right with what we're talking about today. That there's a particular group that I will leave nameless. There's a particular group now that wants to sit down with the church uh -huh. to come to a meeting of the mind on some things yeah. that's contrary uh -huh. to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay? So the stipulation has been given. Mm -hmm. Yes, they gave a rule. Mm -hmm. That when we come to the table mm -hmm. with them, we need to put the Bible down. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. We need to learn from them and understand them so mm -hmm. we know how to engage with them yeah. appropriately in our churches and allow them to lead in our churches. Mm -hmm. But put your Bible down. Okay. Mercy. So do not bring your Bible into this conversation. Mercy. That's the stipulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem I have, I don't know if you have a problem, but the problem I have is that as a Christian, I can't step away from that now. Word. Yeah. 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 We can't have a conversation apart from the Word of God. Okay. Because the Word of God is the standard that I Say have. Say that. Yeah. I have no standard, even though know, my standard. Uh -huh. So without the Word of God, this is a one sided conversation. Say that. Amen. It's Amen. very unfair because my yeah. opinion does not matter when mm -hmm. it comes to the things of God and the Word of God. Amen. It is the foundation. The Word of God is the foundation on which I stand, and I shall not be moved. Come on now. Okay. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Mm -hmm. I dare not trust the sweetest word, right but yeah. only lean on Jesus. Okay. On Christ. Yes. Say that. Mm -hmm. All of the ground is yeah. singing saints. All of the ground is singing saints. Mm -hmm. If we think about a house hmm. built on sand, we already know that's an unwise person. Okay, come on now. Because sand, <laughs> just like yeah. this world, oh, well, shifted, mm -hmm. changed. Mm -hmm. To lose too many air pockets, it lacks the Come on, okay. Doesn't carry much weight. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. We just came while I was on uh, vacation last weekend. We, we just left the beach walking on the sand. It's one of my, <laughs> Come on. the things I dislike the most until I get to the part that's more compact. You know, <laughs> it's walking on the sand and you're just slipping around in there while you're trying to get your foot. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking uh -huh. about? That's why I like the part where it's kind of packed toward the right there the water. <laughs> Shifting sand. Mm -hmm. All other ground is sinking sand. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know there's something called one in 60 rule? Mm -hmm. There's a one in 60 rule. Mm -hmm. And it goes like this. If it's a ship or a plane, you take anything else you want to. If it's off course by one Come on degree, now. Uh -huh. one degree, yeah. mm -hmm. it will miss its target, its destination by an entire mile. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're talking about a target of getting ahead, mm -hmm. yeah. Come on now. Do we really want to take a chance and miss Come on now. our destination? Okay. God's word warns us in Romans 12 to do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. He told us. Yes. Some people want to sit there and say, well, I didn't know. Okay. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. Mm -hmm. God's word says in 2 Timothy 3.16 that all scripture 
is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The word of God is supposed to be used for doctrine, reproof, instruction, and correction to help us stay on the straight and say that, narrow say that. path. Keep okay. us on the line. Mm -hmm. The moment the church conforms to the word, mm -hmm. the day the church puts the Bible down, say that the now. day the world mm -hmm. begins to leave the church, mm -hmm. the church will cease to mm -hmm. exist. Okay. Mm -hmm. And ask yourself, mm -hmm. if you call yourself a true Christian, mm -hmm. and there are groups that are blatantly, mm -hmm. unapologetically uh -huh. mm -hmm. against Christianity uh -huh. and the word of God, how could they possibly be cool with you? Okay, yeah. come on. Now. Okay, okay. And here is food for thought. Mm -hmm. Our gifts and our talents do not mean that yeah. God is the center of our lives. Mm -hmm. Coming to church every week, mm -hmm. holding an office in the church, yeah. being actively involved in the church does not mean yeah. that God is the center okay. of our lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. More on that in a moment. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that we will know them by yeah. their fruit. What fruit are we talking about? Come on now. The fruit uh -huh. of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Galatians 5, 2, 22 and 23 says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, yeah. peace, yeah. forbearance, yeah. kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, yeah. self-control yeah. against such things. There yeah. is no yeah. law. That's right. And this is all the exact opposite of what the world okay. is. Okay. God says, for example, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yeah. But the world says, seek money. Seek okay. money. Yeah. Okay. Seek the latest trend. Mm -hmm. God says, love your enemies. And that vengeance is his and he'll repay. Okay. Yeah. The world says,
Come on now. Then we celebrate evil. Okay. Mercy. Then we persecute those who mm. still call it evil. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. But the Bible puts it this way. Isaiah 5, 20. says, woe unto them. Mm -hmm. They call evil good. and good, good evil. evil. Right. Woe, y'all. Mm -hmm. They put darkness for light and light for okay. darkness. Mm -hmm. They put bitter for sweet and sweet yeah. for bitter. Yeah. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk for the next few minutes about why we need to stay close to the line, as close to that line as possible. Mm -hmm. Instead of pushing the boundaries, mm -hmm. see how far off we can get away from the line. Yes. We need to be trying to stay as close to the line as possible. Amen. The first reason why is because the Broadway is always going to be a moving target. Mm -hmm. You're never going to be able to keep up with the fleeting fads yeah. and hits. Okay. Things are in today, it's out <laughs> tomorrow. Uh -huh. It's fool's gold. Mm -hmm. Meat is worth virtually nothing. Mm -hmm. And it's sinking sand, as we already talked about. Meaning it's going to cost you everything, including heaven. That's right. Satan has planted confusion and many exciting looking distractions around to draw our attention away from the line, from okay. the straight gate, the narrow way that leads to life. Right. Don't take my word for it. Y'all remember Samson, right? Uh -huh. yes. He got caught up with the world of the Philistines. Right. And he had walked away from the will of God and all that he had been taught. Mm -hmm. He thought he was living the good life. Well, He was living his best life. He didn't realize when the Lord had left him. Mm -hmm. He didn't realize that he was sleeping with the enemy. And mm -hmm. in the end, mm -hmm. even when he destroyed the wicked people with the help of the Lord, he was so tied up with the evil people that he was destroyed with them. Mm -hmm. Samson was the one that left God first. Mm -hmm. He didn't realize that you can't beat the world in own game. Come on, yeah. Satan. He trusted the wrong side. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that we cannot play with Satan. Okay. We cannot negotiate okay, with Satan. Okay, say that. Yeah. Right. Here's a story for you. A hunter raised his rifle, took careful aim at a large bear. And as the hunter was about to pull the trigger, the bear spoke in a soft, soothing mm. voice. Mm. Isn't it better to talk than to shoot? Mm. What do you want? Mm. Let's, let's negotiate the matter. Mm. Lowering his rifle, the hunter replied, I'm going for a coat. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Good, said the bear. That's a negotiable question. I always want a full stomach, so let's negotiate a coat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they sat down to negotiate, and after a time, the bear walked away alone. Mm -hmm. The negotiations had been successful. Okay. Mercy. The bear had a full stomach, Mercy. and the hunter had his fur coat. Uh -huh. Satan says to you, let us Okay. Okay. We cannot okay. compromise our biblical standard with the word. Right. Mm -hmm. Our commitment to Jesus Christ deserves our very best and yeah. utmost loyalty. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Isaiah 40 verse 8 says the grass uh -huh. withers and the flowers fade, mm -hmm. but the word of our God endures mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. We should not put any confidence in anything or anyone. Amen. Else. Say that. Uh -huh. right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Number two, the line is there. For our guidance mm -hmm. and protection. Mm -hmm. This is number two as to why we should stay as close to it as possible. Mm -hmm. It's for our own guidance and protection. Say that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I don't know if y'all noticed this evening. I feel like you do. <laughs> Each generation has gotten further and mm -hmm. further away from the line. Yes. And it brings new meaning and clarity to the verse that says, Few there be that find. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it gets. He's getting pushed to the side and out of the picture year by year. Mm -hmm. Satan is using some of us to keep the straight way hidden and concealed. Mm -hmm. yes. You truly have to seek for the right way because the mm -hmm. wrong way is staring you in the face mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. To better understand how the line is there to guide and protect us, let's look at a practical example. A person with a nut allergy, fish allergy, or mm -hmm. strawberry allergy mm -hmm. has to completely Avoid those things if they want to live. Come on. Or avoid a very serious medical emergency. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. They can't just eat a little bit of it. Okay. Mm. Some of them can't even touch somebody Say else's that. hand okay. mm -hmm. or space on the table who has eaten. Mm -hmm. That's how serious it is. Mm -hmm. When we were at the at the beach this past weekend, mm -hmm. 
they had codes to get into, um, to get on and actually into the condo, and then another one to get onto the private beach. Mm -hmm. Now, there are special codes also for schools and universities. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to consider this: if anyone were to share those codes on Facebook. Well, or with their friends and family, uh, the protection of everyone no. would be compromised. compromised. Yeah. You would no longer be operating within the parameters and the boundaries that were put there for our safety. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Likewise, in this day and time, it is so important that we stick to our biblical convictions That's right. and what we believe in because it's truly a life and death mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number three, why we need to stay close to the line. One compromise, mm -hmm. one exception, okay. easily leads to the next. Mm -hmm. Y'all exactly. mm -hmm. remember Eve? Mm -hmm. Well, she spoke to the serpent okay, come when on. she ate the fruit after she left Adam's side. Mm -hmm. So one thing led to, to another. She left Adam's side. Then she spoke to the serpent. <laughs> then she took the fruit and she ate it. Mm -hmm. One exception mm -hmm. easily leads to the next. Mm -hmm. Consider someone who is trying to overcome smoking or drinking to increase their chance of success after rehab. What do they do? They try to avoid being around others who are smoking or yeah. drinking yeah. to prevent that temptation. Mm -hmm. They know that one drink, one cigarette yes. is going to be a slippery slope. Okay. Otherwise, they are going to be setting themselves up for failure. Mm -hmm. One compromise, one exception easily leads. To the Amen. Yeah. Yes, it does. Number four, time is not on our side. Mm -hmm. This is why we need to stay as close to the line mm -hmm. as we can. Mm -hmm. Time is not on our side. Any way we look at it, the closer we get to the Lord's second coming, mm -hmm. we should be getting closer and closer to God. Say that. And yeah. besides, mm -hmm. I know y'all don't want to hear this, but we aren't getting any younger. Okay. 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 Tomorrow is not promised to anybody. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how old we are, there are younger people leaving here too. Yes. For those who think it's not possible to stay on that line, I'd like to ask you one question. Do you believe in the word of God? Okay. Amen. Because my Bible says, and I think your Bible says this too, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. And now if you think about it, we're quick to claim this verse and we're pursuing our own. Come on now. And how about living a life that pleases God? Amen. Amen. The Christian life is not about what we want. Okay. It's not about compromising okay. with God. Mm -hmm. It's about pleasing yes, God. Yes. It's about surrendering to Say God. Amen. And Amen. Living out his purpose mm. for our life. Yes. His purpose for our life. Yes. God already gave his life for our sins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we should we should just want to live for him. Yes. We should want to please him. And the final reason why, I'm sure there are many more, but why we need to stay close to that line, mm -hmm. as close as possible, is that tomorrow is not promised. Say that. Earlier, mm -hmm. Tomorrow is not promised, so we can't get on the right track later. Mm -hmm. right. I don't know if you noticed it. But people are leaving here left mm -hmm. and right yes. well, in all yes. kinds of ways. Yes. Uh -huh. Senseless killings, diseases, accidents, mm -hmm. wars, you name it. Mm -hmm. People are leaving here left and right. right. And if we aren't on the right path when we die, mm -hmm. we won't have another opportunity. Okay. To mm -hmm. Revelation 22, 11, and 12 says, Let the one who does wrong continue to do wrong. Mm -hmm. Let the vile person continue to be vile. Let mm -hmm. the one who does right continue to do right. And let the holy person continue to be holy. That's the NIV version. Mm -hmm. He says, look, I am coming soon and my reward is with, with me. And I will give to each person yeah, according to mm -hmm. what they have done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we take our last breath, mm -hmm. it's done. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's over. The time to get right is now. Mm -hmm. If we're going to sing a song, uh -oh. it needs to be make me over again. Okay. Come on now. With a true surrender and repentant heart. Yeah. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are what? And behold, all things are become new. So we have a decision to make. We have a decision to make. 
and be assured that no decision yes, yes. is still a decision. That's right. Come on. Joshua 2, Joshua 24, verse 15. As I, as I come to a close in a moment, Joshua 24, 15 says, But if serving the Lord mm. seems undesirable to you, mm. then choose for yourself this day whom you serve. Whether God's ancestors serve the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. Mm -hmm. But as but for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. 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 If we don't choose to serve mm -hmm. the Lord, then we have chosen mm -hmm. not okay. to serve the Lord. Right. No decision is still mm -hmm. a decision. Right. The Bible says that the steps of a good man uh -oh. are ordered uh -oh. by the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, we went to Save my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I want you to listen to that. Mm -hmm. My Lord mm -hmm. and Savior. Yeah. Not just say, okay, I learned about him, I accepted mm -hmm. him, I got baptized. Say okay. so he should be our Lord. Oh, yeah. That's my that means right. he's in charge. Okay. Right. We're living to please him. Mm -hmm. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. By the Lord. Yeah. Today, if Today. you mm -hmm. will hear his voice, you will not heart. heart. Not your heart. heart. Yeah. I have a song I'm going to sing, and then I want to ask if the pastor doesn't mind to open up the door of the church as we come to a close with this message. I would uh, leave you with this song, one that I wrote uh, on my album, and this one is called Face the Mirror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pray that you all will just prayerfully listen to the words of the song mm -hmm. and see what the Spirit is telling you. Because if you're like me, I want to go to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. If there's anything in my life that's not right, mm -hmm. God, I need God to help me to overcome it. Yeah. 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 That's right.